What's going on guys? It's Alex here with Northern Scavenger and today we are headed to the Ottawa River for a little whitewater action on the middle channel. So I'm here with Eric. You can't see him right now because he's currently chilling at the launch. You might be wondering, Alex, how are you going to get from the takeout back to the put-in? I'm biking it. It's gonna be great just past the entrance. Do, 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 do. We're getting close. I had to start with an uphill bumpy road. I told Eric to time me. That might have been a mistake. This is really allowing me to see some of the beautiful landscape we have here between the put-in and takeout. Definitely can see it from a car too, but there's something nice about just biking it. What's going on guys? We are here at the put-in for the Ottawa River. Currently out here with Eric. You guys all recognize him. How we doing folks? That's all I have to say. <laughs> so we are out here with a brand new canoe, kind of nerve wracking. It's its maiden voyage, fully whitewater equipped. This is the most whitewater equipped boat we've ever had. We got the Mikey Yi outfitting in here float bags, knee pads, thigh straps. And the kicker is gonna be a spray deck that we're throwing on right now. And then we're gonna hit the river. So the Ottawa River in general is really low right now. I think it's minus three. If you know uh, the rating scale that they've got on that little pole that sits at the side of the river, very, very low water. I've run this once before in a kayak, but it's been a long time. Yeah, I'm excited to see what it's gonna be like in a canoe. I don't know that I'd run it in higher water levels with a canoe. So yeah, we're excited to see what this is gonna be like today. Nervous, excited, the whole nine yards, and hopefully have a good day. I think if we just punch in, we don't need to spin. So we're currently at the top of McCoy's, and seeing as this is the first rapid we're running in 2021, I don't know that this is what we wanted to start with. As you can see, the kayakers there took a little sneak route between, I believe it's called Settlers and Phil's Hole on the, Phil's Hole's on the right. A gentleman pointed out like a little canoe sneak route along the right, but even the bottom set, we're not like super stoked on right now. So we're gonna walk this one and start off with a different set today. <laughs> right down the middle there, I think. Yo, one th I just want to go s slow and controlled up here. Yeah. Because I don't know what to expect around that corner. Yeah. Yo, back paddle? Yeah, like that looks like a pretty big drop there, no? I swear there's a waterfall at the end. <laughs> We just took a sneak route around McCoy's and we're gonna run the outflow here, skipping the stuff that we really didn't want to hit. We want to be just to the left of that. Yo, know, even do a draws, get a snug on that, yeah. Okay, that's good. And yo, do you see where the eddy starts? Like draw, 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 draw. Okay, that's good. And yeah. Left tilt. Paddle forward. Dude, we caught it. See this little trough here? Yeah. That's gonna be like our trough to ferry across. Yeah. No, I think the eddy that we're trying to hit, you guys, right in here, right? Yeah, all that slack water there is what we're gonna try to eddy into. And then we're secreting to the left and right. Well, we're, we're gonna we're gonna ferry first, yeah, right yeah, across yeah. into the other eddy. Yeah. Then we'll come back and we'll sea turn. Okay. But on this one, we basically want to keep our angle. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Left tilt. Dude, that was it. Nice. That was it. 
Nice maneuver. So now, what do we want to do? I think we just turn ourselves here. You think we can cut across the river? With a back ferry. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so our line, do you see that ledge? Yeah, right over here. Yeah, we're basically, we're gonna hug this right shore, back paddling to basically be as slow as possible. Yeah. Forward paddle. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Dude, nice move. Okay, yo, this is gonna be super sporty. Yeah. See that rock sticking up? Eddie? Let's catch that eddy. Okay. Yo, so we got back paddle? Ferry over? Back ferry over a little. Okay, and we're gonna have to have some tilt. And it's tight. And hit us. And forward paddles. Hard forward paddles. Yeah, bro. Yo, we're in. Okay, we're gonna ferry over to the right and C turn in. Okay. Watch this right here, Yep. Right? Yep, we can hit that though. C turn. Dude, that was so nice. Yo, that was a lot of fun. We absolutely picked that apart. <laughs> First oh. fish of the season? It's the first fish of the season. First bass of the season. First bass of the season. Bass opener. He was hungry. He's been waiting till bass opener to eat. Cheers, buddy. Come on. There he goes. Just like that. That's a, that's a good fish. Wow, that's a beautiful fish. It is a beautiful fish. Look at it. Wow. Is that a PB yeah, do you think It could be. <laughs> <laughs> now this is, this is my kind of trip. Yeah, this isn't so bad, eh? We just arrived at what I believe to be Butterfly Rapid, I believe. We, there's two lines here that we found yesterday. So there's a, a beefier one on the, on the river left and there's a small ledge on river right. So yesterday we ran the ledge first. So I think the game plan here is to follow this nice easy tongue, fall in the middle of this. We're gonna try and shoot out into this eddy, the slack water here, still facing down river, get to river left. And we're gonna try and hit that rock ledge to the river left of this of this ledge here. We're gonna try and just go over it straight. Cross draws all day. Yeah, brother. Woo! Woo! Today, we wanna to do a different maneuver though on this ledge. We wanna to try to sneak in along the same line on the run in, but there's actually a small eddy up in the very top section. And just for fun, we wanna to try today to catch that eddy and then straighten ourselves out and do the run right off the end. So it's gonna be a little bit more of a sporty move, but that's what we're out here trying to do is just try to get as many maneuvers in as possible, just to try to amp up our skills a little bit. Yeah, really get the most prep for our uh, upcoming trip. So we're gonna try a new line. Okay, and yeah, this time we don't really want to be right on the right rocks. We kind of want to be left side of this. You know what, actually? Let's kind of move left a little here. Do some draws. Yeah, that's good. And we'll peel right around the corner. Nice. Okay. And Nice, that's good. Paddle hard, paddle hard. Yeah, brother. Yo. That 
was it. Yo, nice. Now is time to run the juicier set on river left. Same uh, set of rapids, just river left side. It's a bit of a beefier, a beefier set with some pushier water. So we managed to hit it yesterday. So we'll see how it goes today. What we're gonna try to do here is hit, come in on the main green tongue, but on the right side. And we're gonna try to ride up on this rooster tail because that's where there's water pushing through. On either side, there's kind of some bubbly holes almost. Some kind of like hole-like features. But we wanna really try to get that canoe right in the section where it's gonna push us right through and get us to the moving water on the other side. A little more to the right. Yeah. Yeah, brother. Get to the left and let's head you. Yeah, brother. Paddle hard. Oh my god. That was wobbly through there, eh? All right, so we just took an opportunity to run a set of rapids a few times, try a new line that we didn't know if it was possible or not with an empty canoe, and swim a set, because Eric's actually never swam in whitewater before. We saw some guides out here earlier that took some people swimming through here, so we knew it was safe. And uh, it's a good opportunity to just test yourself in, in moving water, see what it's like to swim in whitewater, uh, push through some heavy current and uh, yeah just like a good experience to have if you're gonna be paddling whitewater and so this was an awesome little set for us to spend a good amount of time at and uh, a lot of fun I was under for longer than I expected. Yo, how was that? Man, that was a lot of fun. That was honestly nerve wracking at the top because I've never done anything like that, but I'm so glad I did. It's a free wonderland. I don't get why people pay, go to Vaughn, Ontario, come to the Ottawa River. Come on. It's <laughs> a lot of fun. Yo, uh, anything you noticed for your first swim through, like, Anything that surprised you was the current stronger. You punched through really quick. I would say your I would head was above very, very. Yeah, I would. I would say I was surprised by how powerful it was. Like obviously doing the canoe, but like once you're in there, like I was super surprised. I felt like there's so much. It wasn't just going forward. It was like it was pressure from everywhere, you know. So I don't know. And what about where you ended up at the end? <laughs> I ended up way down there. I might have to to spruce up my swimming skills. <laughs> But like, that's another good thing to know, right? Like if yeah. you were to swim in a set that we weren't, like you weren't supposed to hit what's down below. Yeah. It's like, how, how look how this current doesn't even look that strong. Yeah. And it's like, how quickly you need to turn on the jets. Turn on the jets, yeah. To, to get to I the I think that shore. was the biggest surprise, honestly. Like how, how hard you actually have to swim just to get through this like little slack water. Yeah. It seems like slack water. Yeah. Adrenaline, adrenaline is pumping right now. I'm, I'm excited I did that. Yeah, that was awesome, man. Battle hard, battle hard. Nice. See how quickly that grabbed us? That just shoots you, right? Yeah. Good. Nice, bro. Alright, so we just made it to Garvin's, which will be a portage for us today. And every day, probably.
here, folks. So we're at the next set here. We, we're scouting it right now. It's a pretty easy set. We hit it yesterday, uh, but we, in the name of practice, we're looking to to complicate things here and make it a little bit more technical. We're basically just trying to catch as many eddies as we possibly can on the way down. Eddie hop. We're like frogs. And all I know is that we basically needed to hit that the crashing waves. Like right there. I had yeah. Off. Nice, brother. Yo, that was perfect. So now flip us to the left. We're trying to end up in in that little eddy back there. Yeah. So we'll slip out a little and just let the current take us back. Yeah, so do some draws. Draws, draws, draws. Forward paddles. Left tilt. Let it drop back a little more. Dude, that was perfect. Draws in there. Nice, man. Nice. Okay, so now we're in a ferry right across. Yeah. So look below, because we need to catch it pretty good. Yeah. Uh, back up a little, and we're gonna paddle forwards and basically try to punch right out, yeah. but keep a good angle. No, we're, we're gonna lose it. Let's just, we'll drop into this one, eh? Yeah. Paddle hard, paddle hard. Dude, that was pretty good. Yeah. Good recovery. Yeah. Right tilt. Now? Nope. Now. All right, so we made it to another set of rapids. I think it's one of our last of the day. And I think we're in a portage. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, it got caught on the GoPro. Back pedal. Straight through here. All right, so we are at one of the final sets of the day. One of our favorites. Just some big pushy waves. A little rooster tail at the top that we kind of want to be to the left of. Yeah, we're just going to have some fun splashing down the middle. There's a couple spots we want to avoid on this one, which is why we want to hit to the left of that rooster tail, just to set us up so we don't hit any of the holes that are on the right side of the river and just some extra big waves on the on the left side of the river. So pretty clear down the middle, but if we line ourselves up with the left side of the rooster tail up top, I think we're gonna, I think we got ourselves a good line on the way down. How you feeling? I'm excited. Favorite set of the uh, this little section of the river. So I'm ready to get just splashed around and I don't even know if that's English, but I'm ready. <laughs> right there. Yeah. You might need to do it like we're gonna try to keep, well, you know where we're going, man. We're, we wanna be left of the, yeah. like, probably draw. Like, we wanna be a little bit more left. Yeah, it might even be too far right still. Like, see how it's pushing us? Yeah. Yeah, you got us. Yo, this is sick. You're drawing, I'm prying right now. It's a sick move. Yo, this is perfect. Make sure to have an eye on that far ready too, eh? We're good, we're good. Battle no! hard. Yo, that night and day change on those paddles, bro. Yo, also, not having to paddle forward at all. I was sick. Stuck that.
Another great set out here. Absolutely stoked to hit that line. That was so sick. You love that one, eh? Yeah, man. So I could, I could just camp here and just run that like 20 times. <laughs> that upcoming video. <laughs> ne next video. Next video. Stuck it. What are you? <laughs> Nothing like getting under the oak. Nothing like getting under the oak. All right, guys, that wraps up another beautiful day on the river. Awesome weekend out here. We're both feeling really good on white water. And uh, honestly, I don't think that could have been a better maiden voyage for the new canoe, new spray deck, and new outfitting. So, super stoked about that. Guys, leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought. Don't forget to give us a like and Feel free to hit that subscribe button. See you out there. Happy paddling. Can't forget the bike.